Simply Done, the podcast network. You got paid a huge amount of money. Are you crazy? It was little. Who tells you that, Sal? No. The guy who stole five hundred. No. Who told you that's a little bit of I'm money? I'm looking at what, what these other big actors versus what, yeah, for a movie that makes one hundred and forty million dollars. Sure, they make a ten million dollar salary. Our movie made zero dollars, dude. Zero dollars. It made Go send zero dollars. It made no money. What is he complaining about now? That he didn't get paid a lot for Wendy Stevens. Oh, a God. It'll just take me a second. I'm going to so switch Perry, these up. When have you got paid that much money, okay? And you just turned down money that was a huge paycheck for you. But, yeah. look, I'm used to written contracts. For what? For what? What, are you, what have you been paid a written contract for? Tell me. City what else? What else? You just said that didn't pay you anything. What else have you been? Well, it paid me something. What, what okay. else have you been given a written contract for? Look what at else? what's on. Look at all. What else have you been given a written contract I've for? On on the internet, I don't remember the movie names. I don't remember all the movie you, names. You, but you've been given. You've you been given a written. And what were you paid for? What were you? What money were you paid for? Who paid you money? <coughs> all, all the. Um, Who? Oh, Jesus Christ! I can't remember the names of the companies. But all the films that I've worked on that are on the uh, on my Perry, website. Can I just tell you something honestly? And I really mean this. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm going to try to make you, you understand gonna, one thing real quick. You're the worst person. You you are a terrible human being. We have taken something. You fuck up terribly to the point where anybody else would fire you, stupid ass. And you still want to argue? God, you're a dreadful human just being. Not check, check, check. I I still can't hear me. Can you? Not a lot of. Not on my phone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can okay. hear it. You're fine. Okay. Just. I'm, I'm so tired of hearing that, Perry. Dude, I just want to know where I else just, he was paid I just want, I 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 want. What I want is everything in writing. Okay, I don't And do then business. when we had a contract that you signed, you never followed it. Right. You which, never which followed the contract that fucking Hank Greenberg set up for you. And, and you never followed it. So you got I, a contract, you got a contract, and you fucked up. Didn't Salvador also give you a contract? How's that going? Have we ever taken a dime from you? No. Have we ever given a dime to you? You've given me a little bit of money. A little bit of money. More money. Have you ever given us any money? Yeah. I'm doing a job. You're doing a job. What are we doing? You guys have great right. So so you know what? You be a little more. Talking about. I don't get that kind of money. Yeah, right. so what? We don't fucking get paid. We don't get money to sell either. We do different stuff, dude. We work our ass off, man. We work our ass off. We learn to trade, and we're doing it. What I gave you... Jimmy the idea to have a band on his show. That's the only reason I get money from him, because he has to pay me. Perry, hmm. I've told you this many times. Hmm. Just sit there and be stupid. All you got to do right. is fucking show up. Just stop being a fucking asshole. You are just a dreadful human When I come back being. after... After, after your neck at surgery, after... I don't know if I want to be around you anymore. You'll want to be near yeah, you, you Really? What do I get out of this, Perry? Do I get any money? Do I get a contract? What do I get, Perry? What does Mole because get, Perry? Is, uh, what does Mole get? Yeah, okay. What, he gets he gets good pay from uh, the other guy that he works for. Okay, but what the, are you talking about? What does that matter? Uh, what does that have to do with this? I'm a this I am an independent contractor. Us... Okay, so am I, I. I go to wherever I can go to get jobs. I'm an independent <laughs> contractor. I don't work for anybody except for myself. And you sit there and you fucking yell at me, and I didn't get another. What the fuck did you ever give anyone? You're d- ever. N- what have you done, Perry? What have you have I've you ever given shit. us a, a okay, fucking yeah. birthday gift, birthday greetings, anything? Do you do anything that's nice to us at all? Yet I, we we got you in a movie, got you more fame than you've yeah, ever had in your fucking Perry life. Week? Oh come on, Perry! What are you talking about? This is what you asked for. You wanted to be famous. We got you into a movie. You didn't have to blow anybody. You didn't have to let someone suck you off. All you had to do was to be your stupid ass self and let us do the rest. I remember when I promised that I'd help you out after the movie came out because I thought it might be tough for you. But you made that literally impossible because you started listening to other fucking people who told you that you should put a restraining order on me. Then other people told you, oh, you should sue everybody. So you sued everybody that helped you get in the movie and made you more money than you made the previous three years of your fucking life. So that was it. After you tried suing everybody, that ruined any chance for a sequel. And I thought, okay, this is where I walk away. He hates me. I'm gone. But then your cousin print shop went out of business. You had no job. 
Then your mother died and you called me begging me for help. Well, I tried to help you, but I couldn't do enough. I tried to tell you ways to get some money, but you wouldn't listen to me. Everything wasn't good enough for you. You needed to have some kind of job where you were in show business or you didn't want to work at all. So Mole and I tried to help you all with that. We put together this podcast and all we've heard is complaints. We spend our money like madmen to keep this thing going and all you do is complain. I get no money. I get no money. Well, you know what, dumbass? Those $10 shoutouts, they all went towards you. You got money. You made gas money. You got food every week. Fuck you, man. You know, then after you complained enough, I finally said, Mary Jane, do you want the money? And Mary Jane, who works her ass off, who has actually skipped jobs to come here and help us out. Mary Jane, that was nice that I gave you money, right? Yes. And you were very nice to always help out. But you're just a bad person, Perry. You really are. And I'll tell you, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, after this show's over, I, I just don't know. You know, Mole, I know we're going to do some. What are we going to do on this best of show? What should we do? Let's do the Mole Play stuff. Is this the best of show opening? Yeah, it sure is. Coming to you pre recorded from Simply Down the Podcast Network Studios at a secret location in West Hollywood, California. It's the Big Three Podcast Best of Edition. I'm Don Barris. I'm the best of them all. And this is the best of Scary Perry. And there it is, the best of Scary Perry. Nothing. Uh, well, You're the best around. Well, here's what's going on. We're going to keep you down. We're doing a best of show today because, Perry, you're in the hospital right now after a neck surgery. The best of times. Let's find out how uh, what happens and how. I wonder if you'll live. I wonder if right now, as this is airing, I wonder if you'll be alive. <coughs> I'll come out. You think so? Yeah. What exactly is happening? They got to open up disc four, five, and six and put a. a For the sponge. second time. No, no, no. They fused the uh, dontoid vertebrae the first time. That's C2. I broke C2 in two places. When I was 16, I broke the, the back vertebrae. And then then in 2009, I think, yeah, before you my You fell on your head. I in fell on my head. Jumping, skateboard into skateboard a, jumping into a pool. When you were in the 40s. How old were you? 48 when you yeah, did it. About that. I'm going to be 48. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, the point is you're in the hospital right now. So we're doing these best of shows. And today's an exciting one because on today's best of, what we're going to do is we're going to do the best of mole play. Whoa. That's right. Mole play, one of the favorite things that we have here on this show. We're going to do nothing but mole plays today. Now, about three weeks ago, we changed the entire order of the Big Three podcast because now mole play is now... Our closer, our headliner. Our closer, exactly. So every week now, we close with mole play. Now, what is a mole play that you remember the best? I remember, the, you know what? I remember all of them, and, but my favorite one, you know what my favorite one is? No, I don't. That's the next I one. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. I mean? That's good. Because, listen, it's really spontaneous improvisation that's the key to the creative genius of the mole play players who are sitting in front of me. Uh, put put your hands together for uh, the greatest uh, uh, improv troupe you can imagine. Uh, Dan and Scaremaster. You know, just week in and week out, just delivering and leaving well, it out there. Thank you, thank you, thank I got to tell you this. I think a lot is owed to you, Mole, because you come up and you cast you come the up show in a great shit. well. We really think far ahead on these things, and we really put them together. There's a lot of thought put into them. Whether it's uh, Cookie Caramello on board and the Admiral, who's, who's going to make love to him in the poop deck, or if it's uh, uh, if it's Big Buck, and um, that was a good one. The plantation owner lady. Well, what do you think? What is uh, Perry? What are some of your favorite mole all plays? Of them, all of them. Well, no, one specifically. One specific one. Uh, the one where I really wigged out on on you guys. Um, That's just about every week. <clears throat> um, you kept trying to kiss Dan. Yeah, we found out like during mole play. I think it's. Your chance to like get closer to me because it seems like 
A lot Dude, of homosexual I'm, I'm attention interested. comes from you. I am not interested. What do you mean you're not interested? I'm a man that loves women. You say that. Whoa, women. Let me ask you a question. Let me, ask, let me ask you a question. What about my girlfriend, Terry? What about my girlfriend, yeah, that, Terry? When, when have you what ever about fucked my Heidi? Her? Hey, okay, I, I don't know what that means. Yeah, these are people what that once Linda? in a great... well. Linda these are people that once in a great... Yeah, Linda's gone, man. Yeah, Linda went back home. And where, but where are they all? And where do you? Where do I find well, you week in and week out? Where do I find you week in and week out? Not with and not with Carrie or Terry or Linda. I find you on the couch next to Dan in the middle of mole play, always trying to sneak a kiss. And do you know what's weird? What? Do you know what's really weird, mole? No, no. When Don, I look why, in his eyes, when I look in his eyes, all right. Let me ask you a question, Perry. <laughs> Perry true what? or false? I have pretty eyes. For a man, yes. Say it. I just did. No, you didn't. You said yes. I, I have pretty for, eyes. I said for a man, yes. You got blue eyes. Pretty blue eyes. I love blue eyes. My daughter's got blue eyes. I love my daughter's eyes. Watch out, Dan. He's going to try to kiss you, dude. See, I'm that's not going to exactly, try to kiss him. He says that he wants nothing to do with me, but then it becomes this whole my thing. Eyes are People on the internet warn me. Perry's in Jennifer, love with you. Jennifer Let him Corbin, down easy. Jennifer Corbin's blue, beautiful blue eyes are gorgeous. How that soda? Uh, I I just I need some I need to go to my car. Why? You need I got th I got uh, my coldies in my car. How That's do you why. not have whatever you need in that fanny pack? Sometimes there's some stuff that I don't keep in here. Ooh, that's where the audience goes. Ooh, like whoa. Should we put a sound effect in there yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do that again. Say that line again. We'll put the sound effect in there. I said sometimes there's things that I don't keep in my in my pouch. Wow. It's in my car in my truck. I don't know if that worked. Um, anyway, so what are we going to start out with today? What's the first mole play that we're going to go to? I think the first one we're going to hear is one where we check in on um, Scaremaster's grandfather, who was Al Capone's boyfriend. Oh, I remember that. Do you remember that? It was stupid. Perry, what? do you remember that, Perry? Mm, a little, kind of. Well, remember, All right, because this mole play... Well, well, this is, well, let me explain this, if I may. Earlier in the show, Perry had kind of dropped a bombshell on us where he told us that his grandfather was the tailor for Al Capone, the big criminal, the Correct. mafia guy. And then we found out that your father was gay and that he was coming up. My father up. is not, my grandfather. Oh, no, was I'm not talking gay. about Cookie. I, 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 it was your grandfather or we're my, talking about. My, neither my father nor my grandfather were gay. They were both married. They're, men, they're men's men. They're men's men. Exactly. Men's Back men. They're days, men among being, men. Being, being, gay, was, being gay was different. Was they were not, just, they were still men's men. Gay. They were still, seemed Unless like you married. you want to call it happy. Right. They seemed, they All were right. still married. Back then they called it happy. Right. Yeah. One was a tailor and one was a sailor. All right. But right now we're talking about the tailor who had an affair with crime boss Sorry. Al Capone. Um, your turn. What? Go ahead, Mo. <clears throat> Well, one thing we learned about mole play was that when we introduced the board game through Perpetic Industries, it turned into a big disaster because a lot of the game pieces were made by um, a rogue group of criminal toy makers in in Shangshou Province in China. Oh, and uh, and <coughs> in all fairness, if I can say something, Perry has always said that China is not the place to get things made. Don't you say that, Perry? Yeah, but I still wear tennis shoes that are made out of China. The uh. China tennis shoes must be really tough to run in, too. The game pieces, unfortunately, were um, poisonous, and um, they were shaped to look like pieces of candy. Ooh. So we had a lot of choking incidents. So I must say, all our mole plays are in no way associated with mole play, the board game, a division of Perpetic Industries. Okay, there. We got that out of the way. Well, here it is, the best of the Big Three podcast, the best of mole play. And here it is. Perry's grandfather and Al Capone. Mole play. Now, Mole, what are we going to do on today's mole play? Well, originally I was thinking we should do a thing where I, where uh, uh, about Al, Al Capone and Perry's grandpa, but I think there's a bigger issue at hand here because we've talked a lot about this, and there's a lot of mystery and there's a lot of uh, confusion about this. Before you even say it, can we do both? Well, we're going to see. We're going to we're going to say. Okay, there's been a lot of confusion about this next subject. So, here's the scene. Scaremaster 
is going to observe to his church of Jehovah witnesses. Okay. Dan is the su the supreme elder of the church. Perry has brought a date, a girl he met on his comedy tour at a college. Mary Jane, would you be so kind as to play the college girl who Perry's bringing to to the church of the Jehovah's Witnesses? So what you're saying is Mary Jane, who works for us and is a producer on the show, does all the camera work. She's going to play a role in it. Hello, Mary. Everybody say hello to Mary Jane. Hey, Mary Jane. Hey, Mary Jane. Say hi, Mary Jane. Hello. Okay. We open on the front of the church. Scary Perry and his date from the college tour walk up to the front doors, and Perry explains the religion to his date. Well. He... She doesn't know what they're doing there. She's here to party. You're to party? You don't party at the... Ball play! You don't party at the Ball kingdom Ball play! I'm gonna smoke my joint now. No, you're not. You don't smoke weed here. Shut up, you're my bitch. Hey, you don't... You don't speak you to don't me that smoke. way. You don't Get smoke! Get on your hands and you knees don't smoke. and lick what? the floor like a dog. Lick the floor like a dog? You I'll suck your, your toes! Mouth. I'll suck don't your toes, to you that hoes! Way. They you walk foul into the church. piece of shit! They walk into the church and take a seat. It's hot. I'm going to take my shirt off. Yeah. Goodbye. The elder of the church, Elder Barris, takes the lectern and begins his sermon. Hello, people. How are we today? How much money have you made me? How much money have you oh made God. me? Never in, never in the planet Earth does any witness... Does anyone have any, um... Drugs. We don't talk like that. We don't bring up money factors. We hey, don't... who's this girl you're with? He's got money. Just check in that What's bag, your name? bag he has. What's she your points name? to his Pretty fanny pack. My name is Mary oh, Jane, and I'm a girl. Do you want to smoke some weed with me? I'm no, I'm leaving you here. I can actually bring you back and give you some private lessons on how to be a Jehovah Witness. Huh? Uh, yeah, if you know what you were pretty. talking about. Scaremaster realizes he's got to hold on to his date. Brother Scaremaster. He Master. turns on the charm and uses his best line. What? What line? The line that you would use to a woman. Yeah, what the line, line is, you're not smoking weed here. Brother Scaremaster, I believe I am the one in charge. I am the one close to Jehovah. Scary Perry realizes that the situation's getting out of hand. He's got to save his gal and tell Elder Barnes what's going down with the Javahos. Ah, uh, ja you know. Mopay. Brother Caramello. Caravello. Are How are you, my son? What's going on, Brother, S Brother Barris? What I'd like to do is this. I heard you during my sermon say some things that make me look kind of silly. Yeah, you're very silly. I'm silly? Yes. When's the last time you went door to door working for me? Working for you? How do you think I'm you not working for you? Who are you working for? Working for the for the <sighs> Oh boy. Who are you working for? Who let, let me ask you this, brother Scaremaster. It's master. not you, look, who are you working for? We don't charge for for uh, sending out any of the magazines, there, there's no charge on it. Brother Caramello, when you go to the Caravello. door, Caravello, where do you think that this money goes? What money? We don't charge. When you go to the doors, you don't collect money. We don't he was collect just money. on a big comedy tour. He's got lots of money. And comedy tour is different than. A came and knocked on my sorority door, and he tried to have sex with all the girls there. What? Brother Caramello. Caravello. What you don't understand here is this. Oh, my God. What we do is this. We set this religion a few years ago. A few years ago, yeah. And we right. pull a scam over some of the dumber people in the world. What yeah. we do, do you really think that we worship dogs like I try to make people believe? Come on. Oh, my God. Open he your mind. He likes that. He's a dog, a pathetic dog. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> And that was Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play.
no way! You know, um, well, that was kind of a confusing one. And Perry is an actor. Was not... Okay, just do Al Capone bangs his grandpa. <laughs> All right. Al Capone walks into Frank Giuliano's shop. ding a ding a ding a ding Mr. Capone, come on over here. Hey, I need me some. I need me to. I need you to size me up so I can I get you some to make me some more suits. And he sizes them up. Let me check your end scene, Mr. Capone. Ooh, is that a gun? Hey, don't touch me there. Hey, that isn't a pistol. Is it? Ooh. Get Ooh. your hands off, you queer. Ooh, I'm not queer. Is it bad to make you feel good, Mr. Capone? What on, mamma mia? Mr. Capone. You touch me there one more time, I'm going to fucking break your fingers. But I'll give you free suits. They're not free suits. All right. I always pay you. I'll put you I in always a, pay you money. I'll put you in a movie with Christina Applegate and get you your side God, vouchers. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Mr. Capone, let me touch you, please. I'm a Get fam the fuck away. My whole family is this way. I can't help myself. I like powerful what? men. What? I like powerful Italian men. Anybody in power, I can't. Let me touch that. Let me touch your hands. Get your fucking let hands let off. Let me just touch. Let me you touch, touch, let me touch, I break. Let me touch. You touch, I break. Perry's grandpa Frank starts sucking up Al Capone. I, I break. Get the... Hit me is all you want. <laughs> I'm a Caravello. I'm a Caravello. I need cock. You're a homo, you faggot. I'm, I'm, I'm not a faggot. I just no good. Oh, I love your cock, Mr. Capone. And that was Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play. Let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play. Let's play Mole Play. Mole Play. Wow, your grandfather really liked Al Capone. He he did, and now we know the story. One of the best paying cl clients that he had. Yeah, I bet he was. <laughs> well, he got the best suits made. That's why. Wow. That was a fun episode. That of was some old play. Remember, Absolutely. remember your grandfather did you like Al Capone. Did I like what? That mole play? Yeah. No. How about the one about your when you're when you're? Uh... Wait a minute. Hold on. Before you get into that, why are you being such an asshole once again? Because I have to. It's part of my job. <laughs> He's good. One of my personal mole play favorites was when Andy Dick dropped by. Yeah. And he tried to right. get in my pants. Yeah, he did. But he was acting. And if I remember correctly, you fought off a little bit, didn't I you? I fought off completely because I know what he was trying to do, what he wanted and tried to do. He was in the moment. Yeah, but yeah. when you really think about it, Perry, I know that you're somewhat of a homophobic. Somewhat. Kid. I'm 110% homophobic. Well, scared the shit out of those guys. Ever since I moved to California, those guys, uh, day after I got here, they attacked me outside the Chinese theater. Who did? Oh, some gay guy grabbed my ass. Attacked you. Now, when Andy was in this scene. You think it was a hate crime? A straight hate crime? A straight crime? No, it was a, it was a gay guy trying to just grab some, some young kid's tight butt. And that scared you? Why? It was just because a it's a guy that I don't know. If you knew him, a, it would be different. It was a family member, it would have been different. Now you knew Andy age. Dick. Were you upset when Andy Dick was touching you during this next segment? But Andy Dick tried to touch my crotch. I didn't like that. Why? To, He's a big uh, star. I don't care how big of a star he is. I know what his intentions are, and I'm not letting him do any gay. Act. Let's do this. You know what we have here. From what the huck, we always get the free meals. Let's open up a fortune cookie, see what our fortunes Whoa, are. Whoa, I don't like to dabble in witchcraft, but I like this. What the huck for the French and Thai cuisine. That's what mine says, too. You know what's fun to do at the end of your thing? Say, on heroin. Like, give me an example. A of shooting you... star tonight will bring you good luck tomorrow on heroin. You know what mine says? A shooting star today. Night will bring you good luck tomorrow. I have on heroin. What's your if saying? If you go fishing, your catch will be uh, plen plentiful on heroin. See, it works every time. Sure does. Well, anyway, here it is from Mole Play when Andy Dick was on.
Mole, what are we going to do on today's mole play? Okay, today's mole play is a super special mole play because it's right before Perry gets his next surgery, so he could die. If Perry dies, he's going to go to heaven. And if he goes to heaven, he's going to be at the pearly gates where he's going to meet God. Now, Perry's going to talk to God. Perry's going to play Perry. Dan's going to play God, who's going to find out why Perry thinks he should go to, to heaven. And Andy, you're going to play God's super smoking hot daughter, Lexi. Okay. okay? What? And Perry can't help but hit, get, check out Lexi. What? Ready? Okay. Go play. Come in, my son. How are you? I'm not feeling good. Why? My neck is broke. Well, up here in heaven, there's no pain. Everything will go away. Hi, I'm Lexi. That's my daughter, Lexi. All Thank your pain goes away. What do you think mm. of her? Look at her interesting. breasts. Interesting. They're heavenly, as we like to say. Very interesting. You should taste her pussy. Mm. You should taste my pussy. And in heaven, everybody gets to. Would no, you like no. a little taste? No, thank you. Perry thinks That's about whether or not to taste God's daughter's pussy. Go on. Give it a Perry. shot, my Dad, son. He's the only one that said no to me. What? That's weird. Is he gay? I don't there's know. There's no gays in heaven. Are you there's, gay? There's no gays allowed in heaven. I know that. He has to lick my pussy. Uh, oh, he yeah. my oh, uh, that's it. Uh, Lexi, he's got the tongue of Satan. Uh, Lexi shoves her crotch into Perry's face. <laughs> All right. Get out of Lexi. here. Lexi. He said it. Just mole play, play. Just mole play. Just mole play. Okay, it's mole play. Right. Mm. Shoves his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's elbowing my balls. <laughs> no, it's your pussy. Oh, ah, can I lick it one more it's time? Put your tongue shoves in there. Your crotch. Uh -huh. Lick her pussy. You turn and look. Turn and look. Turn and look at her pussy. Turn and look at her pussy. Look at her pussy. Look at her pussy. Look at her pussy. That's great. You're going to hell. <laughs> And that is Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play! Perry, this was an interesting Mole Play because this is when kind of the cookie caramello thing really exploded. And you guys pissed me off. Why? I didn't like you guys talking about my dad that way. But you did get a chance to set the record straight when we when we mole played and uh, you guys were the Admiral and Cookie Caramello aboard the SS Poop Deck. Right. What was wrong with that, Perry? It just, you know, I just don't like involving my father in this this type of uh, stuff because he was not or is or ever will be or would have been gay. Or at least well, he didn't tell you that he was. Yeah. Oh, my There's God. There's a lot of things you don't know about your dad. Did you yeah. ever tell your dad about Randy Callahan? Yes. What did he say? Disgusting. That's my boy. Disgusting. Did he really say that? Yes. I've. N did you tell your mother? Yes. What did she say? Same thing. She really? was disgusted of the what this guy, that this guy basically raped me. Did and they was, hand raped you? Did they try to get the police? He blew involved? me, you faggot. Right, but you you hand raped him. Isn't that funny? I didn't hand rape he him. He called you a faggot, and yet we're talking about something that he did that was clearly that would be borderline gay, jerking a guy off and letting stop. him blow you. All right, but you stop. called him, stop. you called Just him a faggot. Stop. You well, called yeah, him because a you guys keep trying to get me to be a fucking gay, and that's and isn't I'm about not that. a gay this guy. Not about Why do you that? say that I'm trying to make you gay? Do you think that's what you're I want? You're always bringing up gay shit no, to I'm me. Not. This is not about you being gay, Scaremaster. This is about your father, Cookie Caramello, and the Admiral of the Navy. Let me explain SS something to you. My father, Sonny Caravello, never Cookie. was gay. Cookie Caramello. As far never as you know. Never is gay. As far as you know. Never will be gay. As far as you know. He was my father, my mother's uh, husband, for 20 some odd years before they split up. Yeah, why do you think they split up? We'll because find of out. My, because of my mom becoming a Jehovah's Witness. Do you think there's anything to do with your mother becoming a Jehovah Witness and what happened on that ship? Well, let's find out what really happened with Cookie Caramello in Mole Play. Mole, what are we going to be doing on today's Mole Play? Well, it's a big week in the military. This week we climb aboard the SS Poop Deck where we find... Oh, first. 
What do you think is oh happening? Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> we find Cookie Caramello aboard the SS Poop Deck. And the Admiral, Get who's the come fuck out to tell him here. that Don't Ask, Don't Tell has been repealed. Dan, you will be Cookie Caramello making some donuts and measuring them with your genitals. Let me explain something to you. Change the fucking uh, mole play or I'm... I'm gonna sue the shit Scare out of both of you. What are you talking? Wait a minute! I haven't said a word yet. Mole, don't leave. Don't leave. Sit down and shut up. Is this up. the end of the fucking? Change show? the fucking subject. No, you sit down and you shut up and you just mentioned Sue. You are. We will do that mole play. What am I? He just what gave is my... up his third of the uh, I know. proceeds. Third? You just yeah. broke your contract again. You broke your contract. You threatened a lawsuit. I did. Yes. Yep. I thought I threatened to bring over Sue. Oh. <laughs> You son of a bitch. That's All right. Two times today. All right, let's do that one. Dan, yeah. you are Cookie Caramello, the best swabby cook in the in the business. You're making your world famous uh, cookie sexy donuts. Scaremaster, you're the admiral who's come down to tell Cookie that don't ask, don't tell is repealed. And he, Cookie's really excited about it. Really excited. And he wants you to eat a donut to celebrate. Wrong. Ready, Mopai. Ahoy. Hi, Admiral. Yeah, Hawaii uh, to you too. Admiral delivers the news. <clears throat> what news? The don't ask, oh. don't tell has been repealed. Oh, the don't ask, don't tell repeals. Blah. Don't ask, don't tell has been repealed. What? Yeah. You mean I can? I mean people yeah, of you the can homosexuals suck my can fucking cock like a homo again. That's right. You can go down on me because you're the. Well, Admiral, I I can't believe <clears throat> you would. It's gonna offer you. Yeah, a you've been you've been wanting to blow me like you always want to do, and that's about the way it is. Especially on this piece of shit ship over here, Admiral. Where pussy's only on land, and we can't fucking get pussy over here. So since we can't get pussy over here, I gotta let you fuck. No, nope, wrong. I'm not gonna fuck you in the ass, you're... and I'm not gonna let you fuck me in the. Ass. I don't even know the fuck I'm saying. Oh, Admiral, what are you saying? Yeah, what are you saying? I'm pissed. Today? Leave I was me saying alone. You just celebrate and have a couple donuts together. You Please. take it to yeah. another Fuck level. What are you talking well, about? I, that's mole play. I'm, I'm just gonna, you know how I am. I just said <laughs> mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. He's really screwing with us today, this guy. Mole play. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Yeah, neither do I. One thing that I think is great about doing the mole play is that mole... All the people that it helps? Well, yes, but even beyond that is the way that your mind works. Like one time, I thought it was amazing. Perry came up with an idea of where he would like to put money if we made a second movie. And he gave us a big business deal. Do you remember what that was? Oh, yeah. Do you remember what he wanted to open? what I wanted to do? Artichoke farms. No, I don't what? think that was it. I wanted to open up a restaurant. What restaurant? One, one of not more than one Hooters chain. Right. Oh yeah, Hooters Reseda. Well, we had a mole play I that kind of showed in Northridge or Woodland Hills. Why are you talking over me? Why are you talking over me? Cut. No, we don't cut. Just don't talk over me. When Sorry I'm in the middle that. of talking, don't fucking go. We did a mole play that was great. Mole, you took something Perry said earlier in the show, his dream of owning a Hooters, then we recreated it. And you played Cindy, the busty waitress who was getting sexually harassed by Scaremaster. And this was long before all of those Herman Cain allegations. And it really proves to be sexually very, harassed very me. timely yeah. and important mole play. Why would I sexually harass my, uh, my employees? Well, you wanted to fire Cindy, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's Cindy, not talk about Cindy it anymore. Cindy wanted to make love. Yeah, because she liked you, but there's a rule. We made a deal. If we got involved in a Hooters together, there was no hanky-panky with any of the waitresses. There's no hanky-panky with any of the, the employees and any of the managers in any of the Hooter restaurants. Well, let's see how it worked out with you and Cindy. Mole? What are we going to be doing on today's mole play? Today we travel through time to the year is 2012. The location, the Reseda Hooters. They're about to open their doors for their grand opening. But something's wrong. 
Cindy, the gorgeous head waitress, isn't anywhere to be found. She's, after looking everywhere for her and fearing the worst, they finally find her, alone and sad, in the ladies' room. She's sobbing, and the only person she wants to talk to is the scare master. She's nervous to be the new head waitress of the Reseda Hooters, and only scare master can calm her down, and he knows just how. Scare master, you're scare master. Dan, you're Cindy, the hot new head waitress of the Reseda Hooters. Mopai! <laughs> What's the matter, Cindy? Oh, there you are. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> I yeah. don't feel good. Come here, come here, come here, come oh, here. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the problem, Cindy? Well, look at me. What's when I problem? was hired here, I, I was so proud to be part of the Hooters family, and I didn't want to fall in love because I know the rule. That we're not supposed to have sex with the management? Cindy. What? What? You'll lose your job. I want you! I want to fuck you! You're fired. What? Get out of here. What? You're fired. What? Bye. But I'm the head waitress. The scare master knows he can't lose his head waitress on the opening day when every food critic in town will be there to check it out. Oh, God. Oh, okay. If you fire me, I'm going to walk out there in the middle of the press and tell everybody that you raped me. Oh, God. Scaremaster knows that he's over a barrel, and there's oh, only one God. thing he could do. Suck my toes. Grab her toes. Suck my toes. He grabs her toes. Suck my toes. No toe Suck sucking. My no toe sucking. You'll rape anybody there. Is everything all right in there? Is everything all right in there? Said the security guard. Nothing's going on. Let us go. Let us go. Stop it. Stop it. No, you stop it. Stop it. Would you eat my pussy? Scaremaster knows that if he does that, he'll keep his head waitress and he'll have the hottest hooters in Reseda. I think I could either ruin your business or I could make it. it, Or make it. Right. Now start eating my pussy. Start eating my pussy! Scare Master does it and drives her crazy. Oh! Oh! (laughs) It feels real. Come on, keep it going. God. I really thought the smells of your Italian fucking grease baldness would really turn me off, but there's something very intriguing about that. Odor that just smells like a fucking New Jersey swamp. Cindy suddenly shoves her fingers up Scaremaster's asshole. Get out of there. No! I want a taste! I want a taste! Oh, God. Uh, Scaremaster turns to her and says, Hey, you got the job. Uh, and that was Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. Mole play! Do you remember when Dominic Monaghan came to the new studio? Oh, yeah. Now, Dominic Monaghan did the triple play. He was with us on Ace Broadcasting. He was with us at Perry's apartment. Mm -hmm. And he was with us here in the new Secret Location Studios in West Hollywood, California. Oh, yeah. Well, during that show, we came up with a real nice one. Do you remember what that one was? Yeah, we had uh, just heard Scaremaster audition for the role of Transgendo in the new X-Men movie, X-Men Second Class, but we uh, uh, got wanted to see more of it, so we did. We get, went to a mole play scene where Scaremaster played Transgendo, and, and Dominic Monaghan was uh, his, her date, um, X-Men Bolt, and, but then they had to face their arch nemesis, Candy Corn Man, played by Mr. Barnes. Thank you. And I think I did a pretty damn good job. Really good That's job. That's a good memory because I forget the names of those guys. But I remember doing the scene. And you're going to remember it even better after you listen to this mole play. Cool. Now, Mole, what are we going to do on today's mole play? Um, I'll tell you. Uh, today we got a very special mole play. I think like everybody out there listening today... Oh, it's the cops. We're going to get out of here. Quick, pack it up. Get the chicken. Get the pad thai. It might be John Quincy Adams. Oh, yeah. Well, you're eating, too. Holy shit. So I guess shit. you eat those later. That is a lot of food from What the Hucks. I think like all listeners out there, 
I'd like a little more of a taste of uh, Transgendo and Bolt and see where those two are taking their night on the town. So now we head back to Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters mm-hmm. for the big spring dance where Transgendo and Bolt have come to have a big dance. But an evil guy, Candy Corn Man... Candy Corn Man. Candy oh Corn Man God. wants to put an end to their dance party. We join them as Transgendo and Bolt are dancing at the spring dance. Now stand up and dance, Scare Master. Oh, she's a lady at this point. This point, a lady. And mole play. Where's the music for me to dance to? No, Hold just on. dance. And make conversation about how you're going to make sex on them. Spin Come her- to me, my love. Spin around a little bit. Let me oh, see please. that. Let me see your ass. Lose my double ass because of my pouch. So just shy right around a little bit like a girl. Hey, before you do that, is there any way that Dominic could just hold your fanny pack and get no. a, and just get a picture with it? No. Just no. let him hold it. He's no. not going to go in the pockets. I, I won't go in the pockets. He won't go in the pockets. Promise. Let him just hold it. Like it's like a trophy belt. Yeah. That's cool. Here, let me just see it for one second. Mary Jane. Because you guys are going to fuck with my no, fucking I won't do pouch. anything with it. All I'll do is hold it. Just, yeah, and hand it back to me and don't fuck around, please. Mary Jane. I promise I will. Take Thank you. Just hold it. Hold this above your head. No! Oh. Get the fuck for the picture. <laughs> for the picture. Yeah, just See for the picture. Open. It's just for the picture. The... Whoa! I'm gonna fucking kill Red, you! I'm not taking anything out of it. Harry, shirt. talk into the mic. Get the fuck out of my pouch! I'm He's not, not in your pouch. In pouch. Harry, watch it. You're blocking a camera. I'm gonna break everything in here. You're blocking. You're not talking to the mic. Fuck. Stop it. <laughs> Go back to dancing. Okay, hold me tight, Jesus baby. Hold me tight. Christ. Seduce him a little, Perry. Oh, Come on. Christ. Keep an eye on the door. Mm. That's it, baby. Yeah. Tits in your face? Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at those things. Oh. Make him morph. Morph them around into you different oh. shape boots. Show it up a little bit. Show him. Yeah. Oh. Show Pull your skirt tits. up. Show your tits. Oh. No, oh, yeah, lift your shirt up. Nice. I'm not lifting this. This. That's all right. No one's looking. Everyone else is just dancing with each other. Let well, me see. well, what do we have here? Enters Candy Corn Man. It's candy Corn Man. It's candy Corn Man. Who's the hot lady? Oh, I forget my name. Fuck. Transgendo. Transgendo. Hey, do you enjoy candy corn? I prefer women, but... Have some candy corn. Fuck Quick, you. Quick, Transgendo, run. Run. Fuck. Have some candy Fuck corn. Fuck you. Come on, hot Trans- pretty lady, dance. Knows. Fucking throw them at me hard. No, I'm not. I want you to dance for me. Come on, baby. She dance. dances faster. Fucking slut. Come on, get her, Transgendo. You're making a mess here no, of this place. Just fucking dance. You dance, you fucking dirty I'm not dirty gonna fucking, bitch, I'm not making dirty, a mess of this fucking you studio, you piece of shit. Bitch, you fucking Mess whore. him up, Transgendo. Hey, he's making a mess of the studio. Transgendo suddenly jumps on Candy Corn Man. Jump on him. No, I don't want to, I don't want to break anything around here. What are you doing? Ass fucking whore. Asshole. Yeah, Get him, Transgendo. Asshole! Transgender. You might have some nice titties. Hey, 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 Look at those. You got some nice titties hey. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Andy Corn Man oh, squeezes yeah. Transgender's breasts hey, 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 and lifts his oh, yeah. and lifts yeah. her shirt up. Nice Gets her shirt titties. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they pinch each other. Good. And they pinch each other. <laughs> Get him, Transgender. Get him. And stop, that stop, is stop, stop. Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play. Let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play. Let's play Mole Play. Hey, you know which mole play I like, Dan? Which one was that? I like the one where Scaremash was Peter Pan and you were uh, Old Man McFeely Hands. Yeah. You remember that one? Yeah, vaguely. Do you remember that, Perry? Not at all. Well, let's check it out. Now, Mole, what will we be doing on today's mole play? Today we're going way back in the past to the last Halloween that the Scaremaster celebrated when he was still a little boy, uh, trick-or-treating with Cookie Caramello. But he got separated from Cookie, and he was dressed up Cookie. in his little Peter Pan well, let me, costume. Let me say something to you. Wait a second. He was walking around in his little Peter Pan costume, and he had lost sight of his Papa Cookie Caramello when he walked up to the door of a darkened house for one last tricks or treats where old man McFeely hands lived. Dan, you're going to play old man McFeely hands. Scaremaster, okay. you're a five-year-old Scaremaster who's come for one last well, trick be, Before you say that, before you say that for tricks. the five years, when is the last time that you dressed up for Halloween? Do you remember? 
I think he's right on the numbers. At five? Yeah. Five. And five what did you Peter go Pan. as? Peter Pan. He told us about this. I don't remember. It was Peter Pan. You went out with your dad. You told us about this years ago. Whatever. Last time you went trick or treating, you dressed as Peter Pan. Now, did, would Cookie Caramello go out and he, dress Cookie up too? Cookie is not my father's name. Cookie would sometimes make cook little anchor Chris. cookies, anchor shaped cookies for the kids in the neighborhood. Really? But then he was. Then people wouldn't eat them because they weren't wrapped. And then um, he got into a couple of fist fights over it. But does he but dress up when he would take out little Perry? He got into a fist fight with the neighbor across the street. And the two of them ended up in a heated embrace in the rain. Wow. Anyway, okay, back to mole play. Dan, you play the old man. Scaremaster, you play. What is his name again? uh, McFeely? Yeah, old Mr. McFeely. And Scaremaster, you play a young Scaremaster in your Peter Pan costume. And mole play. Well, what do we have here today? Oh, can you fly, little boy? You're adorable, a young Peter Pan. Mother, come here and see what's at the door. What's your name? It's a young Peter Pan. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Come on. Come on in, young Peter Pan. Come in. Come in. Sit by me. Let's take a picture. Mother, would you take a picture of this? Okay. Come here, Peter Pan. I believe you can fly. Come here. Scaremaster sits on the couch next to Mr. McFeely. My name is Mr. McFeely, but you can call me Anthony. Oh, you're such a strong Hands little boy. Hands off. Mr. McFeely puts on some homemade VHS tapes. Get your hand <laughs> off of me. Look at this. This one's scary. Mother, would you would you fast forward it to the good part? She fast forwards it to the good part. Okay, ready. You're Cookie Caramello's little boy, aren't you? Please, leave me alone. You know, I... Know a little bit about Cookie. He was in you, you, the Navy, you, wasn't he? He squeezes <laughs> young Scaremaster's nipples. He was a cook, I believe. Poison! Get your fucking hands off of my shit. Okay, what is going on? He's not doing anything. Well, get to the part where you blow the guy. <laughs> okay. Lie down here. Just lie down. Everything's okay. Cookie said that it would be okay. What the fuck are you guys trying oh, to do? Oh, you know what? I, I'm confusing stories. I get to the part where you give him a foot rub. Get to the part where you okay. foot rape him. Mr. McFeely has a very sore foot. Look at that. It's like a woman's foot. Where are you going, Perry? I'm going back to where I belong. And that was Mo Play. Mo Play, Mo Play, let's play Mo Play. Mo Play, oh Mo head. Play, let's play Mo Play. You guys love to poison me with that sugar shit? Mo Play! Oh, us guys. We never get a chance to really talk to Mary Jane on the show. And I'll tell you this, Mary Jane, you work your tail off. Not only are you beautiful and you bring such joy and such a friendly atmosphere with your beauty, but you work your living tail off. Am I right, Mole? Totally. Am I right, Perry? Yes, she does. Well, you know what? If you had to name one Mole play that you like more than any other Mole play, why don't you introduce that one for us right now? This next mole play is my favoritest ever. Hey, mole, what are we going to do on today's mole Okay, play? well, there's been a lot of talk about this, and it's a very touchy subject because, first and foremost, our thoughts go out to the victims and their families. Oh, what are you talking about exactly? I'm talking about the tragedy that happened in uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, and not yeah. the minors. I'm talking about uh, the other kids uh, uh, The other kids who were sexually molested by um, that terrible coach, Jerry Sandusky, Ohio. So here's where we go back to the locker room where Scaremaster. I'm not no fucking faggot coach. I'm not doing no faggot acts. Relax. I'm not All whipping right. my Relax. dick out. Relax. Dan is, is Jerry Sandusky, Ohio. Yogi, you and Natasha are going to be Coach McQuery. Who comes in, a young man, and sees them and reacts. Okay, great. Natasha, you with me. We make character and play. What's Perry going to be? Perry, you are little Timmy, 10 years old, and Coach Sandusky is going to teach you how to shower correctly. Ready? Mole play. Hey, little Timmy, come here. Do I have to? 
don't have to go do anything. Go over there, Scare Master. Go close to him. Oh, Would you like a new computer? Here's a new laptop, uh, an Apple. It's a, it's a Mac. And they begin to shower together. Coach Sandusky showering him and then putting, giving him a bear hug. First well, soaping him up. Well, pretty soon you're going to have some hair down in this area. He soaps him up in his privacy area. No, get your hands off. No, didn't I give you a computer? He's a young man. He can't He can't uh, uh, keep up with the strength Please, of a full-grown stop, football stop. coach. Everything's stop. okay. Coach Sandusky offers him a part in the Christine Applegate movie. Hey. Now, I got to tell you something. You know, I'm not only a coach, but I also book commercials. Really? And I've also booked a few movies. Really? Would you like to work in a commercial about Elvarado Hospital? And if you do that oh, and you play your cards right, I can get you in the latest Christina Applegate movie. Young Timmy turns and embraces the coach and says, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Give, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. No. Give me a kiss. No. Me, Just play no. kiss. Just, no, no, no. no. I, I know the way you no. want to do You want to kiss me on the lips and it's not going to happen. Doing a scene. I don't give a shit. I'm not Just kissing out. you on the lips. Don't Just kiss me on the lips. Embrace I'm it. not kissing you. Just embrace Just give me a kiss. Fuck no. 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 no you, In walk no. Mc, the McQueries. Oh, hey, I see you fucking that kid. Fuck no. No. Give me a kiss. Hey, how much for me to not tell I see you fucking that kid? Fuck no. Get her over here. She can fuck me now. <laughs> You're a 10 year old kid. 10 year old kid likes Mrs. McQueary. What kind of sick fuck is that little kid? Come here, little girl. Oh, she's a big girl. Look at that hot body on that big girl. Fuck Brrr. that kid in the ass again, mister. He's a fresh mouth. Fuck pretend, him now. pretend you saw nothing. Give me that. Give me that hot pussy you, over there. Come on back in. Right, here. Give me that hot pussy Look, over there. Come on, come Timmy on. and Coach give me a kiss. Mc, and, give me a kiss. And Coach okay, Sandusky, Ohio, kiss, Ohio, kiss no, no, Pasley. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Just kiss. Just kiss. Fuck now. Get your lips away from me. That's good. Give me a kiss. Just Get little, your lips just away kiss, from me. Kiss. And that's Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play. Oh, that was funny. Do you remember when that happened, Perry? Uh, no, but that's all right. What do you mean that's all right? I mean, I, you don't I, remember I, any of that? No, I don't remember any of that, but it's, it's pretty funny. Why is it funny? Tell me why it was funny. What was funny. your favorite part about it? If you had to say one part was your favorite above every other thing in there, what would that have been? Well, when Mole always puts you and me in the quirkiest situations ever, but uh, the one the one where you just keep trying to get me to kiss you, it's just so sick. Oh, God. Of course I that's I try to make one. you kiss me. Of course that's his favorite one. You're... You disgust me every time you cheat. But that's what you remember. That's right what your brain goes to. Hey, there's so many great mole plays. How about just some really weird ones that we don't even remember, like this one? Mole, what are we going to be doing on mole play today? There's so many things to think about today. There's Perry being on the bottom of the deck upstairs on the roof with that guy. But I'm not going there, Wait a minute, before Master. Another little thing that we didn't even talk about, because I, the fans on Facebook, they've been going crazy about Perry's love of women's feet. Well, his... maybe that'll come into play. Can I bring okay. that? Oh, I should have brought maybe up that... Carol, too. Oh, Carol Heather who? and Carol. Really kind of derailing You know, you know Heather right from downstairs. Yeah, Heather. But yeah. We're, we're, we're going to set her the scene Carol. right now. L let me hear this real quick. Just go. Let, let them talk. Okay, go ahead. All right. What happened? All right. What happened? You know what happened that day when I was... All over uh, Heather's feet downstairs. Yeah, like for some reason, the, a person that you met on the very first day, you felt comfortable I was, enough I was to start grabbing her, her toes, her. saying this little piggy, and you yeah. said you would like to suck them, and right. you invited her to dinner. Yes, we know the whole story. Okay. Her Completely auntie, her, now her Aunt Carol, who was another hot babe, um, and actually it was kind of a way of getting Aunt Carol into the palm of my hand. How's that? Well, because when you've got two girls that you kind of got the eyes for, right, and you're not sure which one is going to grab for you, but you do want both the one of them. that right. You do want them. I definitely want both of them. But if one's gonna not, you wanted Annie Carroll more. Mm, that's a fifty-fifty shot. 
because, um, you know, it all depends on uh, which one would prefer being with me or not. But uh, her Auntie Carol is another hot piece of ass. And I'll, Have you uh, talked to her at all? She's she, te- she emailed me on Facebook telling me to leave <laughs> leave my niece Heather alone and uh, and that she's got the hots for me and that she's always loved me and this, that, and the that other thing. That is so sweet. So I'm, really I, I says, well, how Great do you... icebreaker. And I kind of said to her, I go, well, how the hell do you think I want you? I go, this is the best way of wanting you. By going after your niece and then really getting you to fall in love with me even better. Whoa, what a great strategy. So You really are a ladies' man. No, no, no. No, No, Eric, Eric, you're a little early. I don't know if... uh... Anyway, why don't we start that? We'll kind of tell you when. (laughs) I'll give you the cue. All right. Should I set the scene? Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you set the scene now? Okay. This, This month is a tough month for America. Last week, we did our special uh, 10th anniversary 9-11 show, if you guys remember. But t- this weekend, we are taping this um, show on an even, maybe even almost as bad day, which was September 17th, which, you know, Perry knows what a terrible day in American history that was. explain it was, Perry? I don't remember what happened on Explain what it was, Perry. I don't know September what happened. September 17th? Yeah, what happened on 1862? September- I don't know what happened in 1862. I wasn't around back then. Battle of Antietam. Come on, man. Who's Antietam? Oh, geez. McClellan stopped Lee's forces. Jesus in Christ. In Sharpsburg. It was what? the bloodiest day in American history, over 23,000 casualties in one day. And kind of what... Where set, is this? And what really kind of set the standard for the way we live life today, presently. So I'm taking us way back to the Civil War. Okay. Oh, that's In what the it is. last days of the Civil War, where we head to a southern plantation, a shell of its former self, the once majestic Chantilly Plantation. Now the only person who lives there is the beautiful Belle Fauntleroy. No farmhands are still there except for one last guy, Big Buck, the last big still slave giant black dude. Belle Fauntleroy has always loved Buck, but couldn't tell him because society wouldn't permit it. And Buck always loved Belle Fauntleroy. So the Civil War is winding down, and they know that they could finally be together. And Belle Fauntleroy makes her world-famous lemon cake and brings it down to the field for Buck, who's hungry. And they can hear the troops starting to come, and they know they only have a little time left. And Buck really wants to suck on Belle's toes, and he wants the lemon cake. What's going to happen? Dan, you're Belle Fauntleroy, the beautiful Southern lady. And Perry, you're Big Buck, who loves that Southern Belle. Mole play. Uh, I do declare, Big Buck. Could you come by me f- for a moment, please? Uh, I don't know. What What do you mean you don't know? What the fuck are you I doing? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Perry. I guess mole play, right? You're know, Big I Buck. I know. Big Buck. Know. You're a black guy. So, Say, baby, what you be talking about? You're a big, me? strong guy. You're like seven feet tall. Yeah. Okay, let me let me do this again. We'll start again. Mole play. Well, I do declare, Big Buck. Could you come here for a moment, please? Hold on. Hold, hold the phone there, kid. Yeah. What, what is a phone? That's something Alexander Graham Bell just invented a few weeks ago. Yeah. Bell brings the cake over to Big Buck and starts feeding it to him. I, no, thank you. I... I made a little cake for you. It's lemon. Do you like lemon? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, would you like a little bite? I, I'll take a little bite, not a lot, though. Oh, my, little bite. my goodness. Buck, One bite will be fine. Buck, your arms are so strong. My right arm is a little dead, though, right now, you know? What is that I kind of kinda hurt myself. From all your hard work? Yeah, people. masturbating, you know? Oh, hurt myself Buck, masturbating. You are just silly as one of the big field hands out here. Yeah. Me. Buck leans in to taste the cake. Eat the cake, Buck. Just one piece. Okay. Not a fucking... Just here. No. Just have a bite. I'm not having a bite that fucking huge. I can eat this. That because you got a mouth that will take that. Come on, big Buck. You're seven feet tall. Bell shows Buck how to do it. Then Dude. Buck, Buck likes Bell's style. You're getting yourself dirty, too. Oh, I do declare this is good cake. 
I'm not Buck eating. Knows. Buck knows he I'm can not have not eating a, a huge slice. Well, no have as much way. as you can. No fucking way. Just have a bite then, no, man. A, a small bite, not Five. a big fucking massive bite. Let me just put this in your mouth, Big Buck. Come big here. Buck reaches over, Come opens over. his mouth. It's all, Come here, open your mouth. That's all a bunch of stuff. Big Buck. Just open I your mouth, Big your Buck. Hand, big Buck. Oh, oh, Big Buck. I do declare that got all over your fanny pack. Oh, and Big Buck. A bunch of stuffing and shit. How's it taste? I don't like it. Big Buck loves it. I don't like it at all. Would you like to come back to the no. plantation, Big Buck? Sorry. Would you like to check out Bell's toes, said Bell to Big no, Buck? No, thank you. Look at my toes. I do Sorry. Like Would you like to have some cake <laughs> off my toes, Buck? Bell puts some lemon cake on her toes and puts it... Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> Fuck you! Perry, you! Perry, this is just for the shot. It's small play, Just dude. take the shot. It's small play. Come on. No, God damn it! I can't eat the fucking frosting. Uh, get, get, get me regular cake. Okay, right, just frosting is is fucking bad for well, get me. Get rid of the frosting. How about frosting. just the cake part? Be, yeah. Right, just all the right. cake part. Bell takes just the cake part. Puts and all I can have is one bite. That's all you. Or else I can, or else I'll get the shit. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Big Buck I, eats I the cake How do they just have the, just have the rest. Just have yeah. the rest. Just have the rest. Just eat the... Well, no, I don't want it. Oh, you put my foot in your mouth. That's all. And that was Mole Play. Uh, mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play. That was a good one. And those were the best of mole play. Right now, Perry, you're in the hospital. Yeah. Do you think you made it? Yep. Okay, well, listen, I wish you nothing but the best in there, and I hope Thanks. you come back stronger than ever, and I hope when you come back you stop complaining about your fucking arm constantly. Well, it should be fixed by then. So for me, Don Barris, you can look me up on Facebook at Don Barris. Perry, you are on... Perry Caravello. Uh, that's K. Caravello. Right, Perry F. Caravello. K A R. C A R A. Walter Molinitsky, yeah. an American hero. Tim Perpetic. Don't forget Mary Jane Green. So, for the best of the Big Three podcast, we are the Big, Big Three. Three. See you next time.